how to buy a car in the DR. Today, in this video, KLOK TV will explain to you exactly what you need to do to buy a car in the Dominican Republic. Uh, big shout out to the homie, Alfredo, KLOK. KLOK, Sacpase, Quad Nef, what's good, my people? Once again, welcome back to KLOK TV. Today, we're gonna talk about how to buy a vehicle in the Dominican Republic. We're gonna talk the difference like buying a vehicle cash and finance a vehicle with a, a used or a new car with a bank, all right? So everything, like if you watch my previous videos, anything in DR requires document, all right? So for you to buy a car, these are the following requirements for you to buy a car in the Dominican Republic. You must be between like, with the, we're talking about the dealership now, to buy, to finance a car with a dealership, used or new. Uh, in order for you to do that, you must be between the age of 18 to 70, right? You gotta have your passport, you know, everything. Passport, passport. You gotta have that cedula. So cedula, you know, that's the Dominican ID. So you gotta have that. Um, the car cannot be no older than, than five years old. So this it's a, must be new, or if you can buy a new car, the, the, uh, the used car cannot be no older than five years old. All right, gotta have your driver's license. You know, it could be your regular license or your Dominican driver's license. I'm gonna get more in detail into that. Gotta show your proof of income because you know you can't go say finance something and the bank don't know if you'll be able to pay or not. So you gotta show them a proof of income, all right? Uh, just like for the house, since you're not from there, so they will pull what they call the international credit report. So with the credit report, that's what they will find out, like everything that you hold from your home country or any other places, if you owe, if you have any debt, anything like that, any delinquent on anything. So they will check out that. Uh, how much is the down payment for the car when you finance? So when you finance a car with the bank, new or used, you gotta be able to give them 20% of the value of the vehicle when, you, when you're financing, right? Just like in the U.S., you will find some little uh, dealership, you know, where you don't have to go to a bank, they will finance you in-house. But however, you have to keep that, keep that in mind. Just like in the United States, um, those little in-house deal, usually you end up paying more than what you're going to pay if you finance with a bank. So it's the same thing. Just keep that in mind, all right? So your the interest is going to be way higher, all right? So what are the interests on vehicles in the Dominican Republic? Interest rate, like on new cars, they go from 10.95%. Uh, that just on a one-year loan. So if you're gonna buy the vehicle on a new car, like for a one-year loan, this is gonna be your interest, 10.95. If you're gonna buy for three years, three years is gonna be 11.5, and they all fixed rate. Like for three years, that's gonna be your interest, 11.5. Uh, if you're gonna go for the full, full five years, it's gonna be 12.95. 12.95, that's gonna be your interest rate, we're talking about like fixed, all right? Used car, used car can go between, for one year, 13.95, yeah, that's it. that's your interest for a used car, for a one year loan. For a three year loan, it's gonna go 15.95, right? And then for five years, it goes 16.95, 16.95%. That's what they get on a used car in the Dominican Republic. All right, um, the most popular places where people go and buy a used car in the Dominican Republic. Uh, and um, they go to Santiago, they go to a place called Mocha, they go in La Vega. So these are like the place, like they really, really good on when it comes to buying used car. Uh, the dealership, they're like the number one importers of cars from the United States. So uh, most of their cars are coming from Miami. The reason why they like buying vehicles that's coming from Miami, for the simple fact, um, Miami, like the weather is like similar to the to, uh, the, to the Dominican Republic, and uh, they don't usually buy cars that come from uh, up north, like uh, Canada or like the northern part of the United States, like New York, New Jersey. The reason behind that because it snows up there, so when it snows, like, you know, because they got to put salt on the road, so that can cause corro corrosion to the car. So they tend to stay away from those part of the region. So they buy a car mainly, you know, from Miami because there's a snow in Miami, so that's why. Um, they get the cars from down here. So it's kind of like, just like, you know, some people in New York, they mostly go buy cars in New Jersey and stuff. It's, it's what, whatever you more comfortable with and you know, like, 
for the best value. So, but the, those those guys, the dealership in Santiago, Vega, and Mocha, so they go buy they buy cars in Miami and then import them uh, to the Dominican Republic. All right, because like I said, Miami is a similar weather. All right, can I buy a car cash? Yes, you can buy a car cash. But the thing about buying a car, you know, like, if you're gonna go buy a car with cash money, you need to make sure, you know, whoever's selling you that car, he doesn't have any lien on the vehicle, and um, you know, they don't owe the bank, and it's not anything fraudulent, so they just give you fake paperwork and stuff like that, a fake title. Because unlike the United States, uh, in DR, they give you a copy of your title, even though you're not, you know, you're not done paying off the vehicle, but they just know it's for the purpose for you, what you can uh, register the car and so on and so on. But uh, some people can try to sell it to you. So you need to be aware of that. So if you were thinking about buying a car cash, I would highly advise you to get a, a local attorney, you know, to help you with the process because you're gonna see a whole, it's a whole different um, ball game when it, time, when it come time for you to register that vehicle. So you're gonna run into a lot of Headache, so to avoid that, so get you a local attorney. So if you need help with the local attorney, KLOK TV can come through for you and just help you out with that as well, because we offer that. So just think about that, all right? So uh, when you get the vehicle, they're gonna give you a temporary tag to be able to drive it. So the temporary tag will be go between 15 to 30 days. That's all you have to do with that. And after that, you need to go race to the car. So remember, if you are like uh, somebody who purchased a, uh, a vehicle and you still have not established your residency, um, you won't have much time to go with the vehicle. For example, like uh, you're here on a tourist visa and then you wanna buy a car. Cause remember like on my last previous video, tourist visas can go from between uh, 30 to 60 days. So if you were like on a, on a tourist visa, uh, and then you want to buy a vehicle, a car, while you're down there in Dominican Republic, and you have a Dominican friend or some, somebody, and you want to co-sign with that friend, like to get you a vehicle. Yes, you can do that. But however, after 30 days, you won't be able to register the car because you, 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 you're not established, you know, you haven't established your residence in Dominican Republic. And I gave you the guide and everything what you need to do to establish that in previous video. So this is very, very, very important because after the 30 days, you can't drive with your driver's license. And then you know you cannot get a Dominican driver's license unless you establish your residency in the Dominican Republic. So that's why. So if you're on a tourist visa, you need to make sure you get your residency because once that time is elapsed, you won't be able to do anything with that car. So you can't get the cedula, you can't get the stuff that you need. So you, you must establish residency in the DR in order to continue that, all right? So all that, Hello KTV can help you out with that. So that's kind of like basically um, residency is very, very, very important in the Dominican Republic. If you do not, you know, have that established, you can't do mainly anything in the Dominican Republic. So buying a car, everything that you're going to run into with that, uh, that hiccup, you're going you're gonna to feel like this is, you're limited for what you try and do. All right. So that's all we have for today. So Kelo K TV. So as usual, that's why we're here. We're here for you to help you guys. So them comments, leave them comments. I, I go ahead and push that video because I've seen emails and, and comment, you know, about the shipping, the car and everything else and people. So now I'm giving you, you know, how to purchase a vehicle down in the Dominican Republic. So, so all I'm asking you guys, continue to leave them comments, give, give us them feedback. So we're gonna to continue to push and give you all that good information that you need to be successful in the Dominican Republic. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, uh, hit that notification bell so you know when every time we have future videos, so you know exactly, hey, Kilo KTV just dropped something, so you know. So I'm here for you. If anything I did not mention in there, feel free, you know, just hit leave them comments and I'm gonna go ahead and go over here just you personally answer you. So so same thing. So like uh hit us on Instagram, Kilo K T V. So that's all I have for today. And with that being said, adios male.